Hey out there on YouTube, how are we doing today? Well, as you can see by this weird, different, you know, different little package, I got a strange knife review for you today. So stay tuned, right after I roll that intro, I'm going to show you what came in there. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, for everyone who's been out there for a little while, you should know by now, you're going to see a little channel watermark popping up right down here. Go ahead, hover over that thing and just nail subscribe right away. It'll make you feel better about yourself. Alrighty guys, now as you saw by that intro, we're going to take a look at a newer company called Lord & Field. And this is their knife, well I should say Lord & Field Outfitters, and it's the farmhand knife. Okay, I saw this in a battle box mission. I believe it was the Bush Craft mission. And it took me a little while to pull the trigger on this one. Just because I was a little bit unsure of the company. Had never heard of them. I like the look of the blade. Seriously, as you can see right there. I really like the look of it. I love the fact it came wrapped up in basically um, oiled paper. You know, it just reminded me of an old-timey knife. Now, what struck me is I couldn't find a single thing about this company. And, yeah, this is going to make sense in a moment, guys, so please bear with me, all right? So when I saw it was out of Statesboro, Georgia, I went, oh, Battle Box. That was my first thought is it's a Battle Box offshoot, Okay. Then I caught a live feed by Out West with Chris, and when he showed it, he went, yeah, Lord and Field is, you know, a Daniel Dabbs design. I'm like, okay. And then the other night, I saw that right there. So I'm wondering if that's one of his ancestors or just a family thing he just made up and, you know, kept going. But with all that being said, <clears throat> I pulled the trigger on the blade. Obviously, all right, and there it is. Well, it didn't come with the paracord lanyard. I added that. I love the way it looks. I love the way it fits in the hand, and I love the way they put a lot of effort to make it look old timey. I, I I just thought that was great in a day and age where everybody wants to add everything under the sun to a blade. Lord and Field took a step back, so I thought that was cool. All right. So, let's get into the fun stuff on this thing, okay? It's got an overall length of about six and three quarters inches. Um, closed, it's about three and three quarters, and the blade's just three inches. I love the hawk build design with the nail neck open. It's got an easy weight to it of 2.83 ounces. It does have, you know, the fine edge. Now, this is the part that killed me. I had to do a lot of digging on this. BattleBox doesn't list what the blade steel was. When I did some digging and found this on Amazon being sold by BattleBox, it just listed the blade steel as steel. Well, I reached out to BattleBox and I didn't get a response for three days. I left a message on their Facebook page asking what steel was, no response. And the other night, later on at night, I guess someone just randomly checked the messaging because I did a follow-up message. And what made me laugh is the guy who answered the message went, yeah, we don't know what the steel is either right offhand. Checking on that now. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You know, but they got back to me pretty quick right after that and said the blade steel is 8CR13MOV. So not a bad steel. I get it's a budget steel, but... It really goes with the blade, you know? Looking in there, I'm betting it's got, you know, a little stainless steel frame on the inside. As you can see, it does have a lockback system. Now, these look like brass pins that are in there that have been basically filed down. Um, they say the handle is micarta. And I'm wondering if that's a paper micarta. Because it doesn't have a feel of like some other um, linen micarta that I've used before. Not used, but felt before. I have no idea where it's made. 
to be honest. It's not listed anywhere. So I can't tell you if it's made in the USA, made in China, made in Taiwan. I don't know. I know there's a lot of unknowns on this, but I liked the blade. I, I, I really, truly did. As a small, old-timey look like your grandpa used to carry that maybe passed down to your dad and maybe he passed down to you. I think this is something really, really cool that's, like I said, a throwback to an almost forgotten era. Now, let's get into the fun stuff that I know you guys want to see. As we usually do, just heavy stock paper. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Going slow, but, you know, you can just do that. No problem. And as you can see by that one where I got it, you know, close, I like that little curly cue. Just normal paracord. Okay. Right through. Not too bad. And now, like we usually do, our friend Mr. Ratchet Strap. Well, that had some problems. Let's try that again. Yep. Yeah. Not too bad, though. Still cuts. Okay. So, like I said, with it being from BattleBox, and it's one of their designs, I found it on their web store at $39.95. Okay, well, actually on their little app that they have for the iPhone. And like I said, I did find this on Amazon, and they've got it listed there too at $39.95. Now, it has no ratings, because honestly, this thing's only been out maybe a month or two at most. But I do have to say, BattleBox has a lot of five-star ratings on Amazon. Its overall strength is five out of five with a lot of reviews for stuff that they've been selling. So, with all that wonderful stuff being said, here's the most important part of this video. I want to know what you guys think, all of you out there. Your questions, your comments, your love, your hatred, just anything, man. I'd like to know what you think, because like I said, I, I like it. It's a throwback blade. And that's why I got it. Now, for you first-time viewers of the channel, man, I want to thank you so much for, you know, just taking a moment of your day to see this weird little tabletop review. I know, it's a different company that's brand new that Mr. Dabs has been um, putting a lot of their product in recent battle boxes. So I will be honest with you, I'm liking what I see from Lord and Field more than I like the stuff I'm seeing from Battletech. Now, if some of you will remember, I'm going to try to leave a card up here, okay? We brought Battletech's first ever um, foray into the field, their double-locking Karambit. And I said back then that if they stayed with things like that, that were supposed to be, you know, tactical survival, you know, meant for military law enforcement, that I think Battletech would be a good brand. But some of the stuff I'm seeing from Battletech recently, I, I don't know. I, the only way I can put it is I don't like it. All right. Now, for you longtime viewers of the channel, here is your second chance at redemption. Right down there. As we usually do, we're going to have a big old channel logo that pops up. Just destroy that thing, man. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. Now, after you've beat up that subscribe button, go ahead and destroy the bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Good question. It's going to notify you every single time my channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, two are going to be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But here we go, guys. My very first look at a Lord and Field product. I hope you enjoyed my tabletop look at the Lord and Field farmhand. Thanks for watching and have a great day.